to see some problems. So, the first problem is a reaction having time independent stoichiometry follows the equation A plus 2B giving 2Z. And suppose that initially there are present 0.28 moles of A, 0.3 moles of B, and 0.13 moles of Z. After a certain time, 0.18 mole of A remains. What is the extent of reaction and what are the amounts of B and Z? What is the extent of reaction if the process goes to completion? This is a very simple problem and you have to um, rewind about what you have learned on the extent of reaction. So let us see what the uh, question is. You have to determine what are the amounts of B and Z and it is given that 0.18 mole of A remains after a certain time of reaction. That means at first for this type of problem what we have to do is at first we have to see at T equal to 0 and the time is equal to 0 we can uh, we should know what is A0. A0 is 0.28 mole it is given. What about B0, initial amount of B0 is given which is which is 0.39 moles and uh, actually it is 0.39 moles sorry, it's a mistake here, 0.39 moles and for uh, Z, the product Z is equal to 0.13 and these all are in moles you have to know, uh, uh, be certain on one thing that we are expressed uh, it is in moles and also the our product Z0 is present in the initial level itself. That means we are doing the kinetics after a certain time period after Z0 has been formed of 0.13 moles. Now at T equals T, that is after the time T, A will be reacted and we, it is given that how much it is remaining? It is 0.18 moles is remaining of A. Now, if 0.18 moles of A is remaining, the reacted amount can be given as, I will write here, the reacted amount. The reacted amount of A, it will be 0.28 minus 0.1a so this will be 0.1 now we have to see the stoichiometry of the reaction our reaction is given as a plus 2b giving 2z for each mole of a two moles of b would have been reacted that means for if a has been reacted 0.1 moles b would, be, would have reacted 0.2 moles the reacted amount of b will be 0.2 moles and so that since b0 is 0.39 at time t, it, there will be 0.39 minus 0.2, which will be equal to 0.194. And now what about Z0? Z0 again, when we see the stoichiometry, we can see that for each mole of A, there will be 2 moles of Z is formed. So there will be 0.2 moles of Z plus there is a 0.13 moles is uh, already present there, so set 0 will be like 0.13 plus 0.2, this will be equal to 0.334. Now, our last uh, question is what is the extent of reaction if the process goes to completion? For this, you, you should know one another concept which is called as the limiting reactant. For in this case, there is a0 amount is 0.28 moles. Suppose A0 has to react totally means for B0 should be at least it should be 0.28 times 2. It should be 0.56 moles should be present. 0.56 moles of B should be present. But as you know, you can see that B, B0 is initial amount of B0 is only 0.39 moles. Meaning to say that here the limiting reactant is B0. So you have to convert or you have to do the calculation according to B0. And if in terms of B0, the extent of reaction can be given as C0 
sigma is equal to n minus n0 divided by mu. Here, n is the amount reacted. Actually, 0.39 moles totally it has been reacted. So, there is no n. And remaining is n0. n0 is 0.39 moles. This is 0.39. And since it is a reactant, and its reactant stoichiometry for B is 2, so that it will be 2. It is equal to, this will be minus 2 since it is a reactant. So, this will be 0.195 moles. So, our answers are actually, B has been, uh, B will be 0.19 moles, Z0 will be 0.33 moles, A is 0.1 moles and our extent of reaction will be 0.195 moles. Now, let us go to the problem 2. For the reaction N2 plus 3H2 giving you 2NH3, the rate of uh, formation of ammonia was found to be 2.4 10 to the power of minus 4 moles liter minus 1 as minus 1. Calculate the rate of disappearance of nitrogen and rate of appearance of hydrogen. Very simple problem. As you know, this is a very famous reaction and 2 plus 3 is 2 giving you 2 and it's 3. Rate of formation of ammonia is given and you have to find the rate of disappearance of nitrogen and hydrogen. For this type of reaction, what you have to do is first you have to write the differential form of the rate equation. What is the differential form of uh, rate equation of this one? Since these are uh, products, you have to write as minus D N2 by DT, concentration of N2 by DT. This will be equal to minus 1 by 3 differential of D by DT of concentration of hydrogen and again this will be equal to plus 1 by 2 d by dt of nh3 actually our job is right now it is over now we have given as the rate of formation of ammonia so it can be given as 1 by 2 into d of nh3 by dt is equal to d of n2 by dt. So, d of n2 by dt is equal to 1 by 2 into d nhc by dt. So, d of n2 by dt is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by, uh, we have this given as 2.4 into 4 into 10 to the power of minus 4 moles L minus 1 S minus 1. So, it will come around, we can simplify it later. Similarly, our uh, relation, you can have to find the disappearance of hydrogen also. So, what will be disappearance of hydrogen? It will be given as 1 by 2 D of MH3 by DT will be equal to, it is 1 by 3 D of H2 by DT. We need to say D of H2 by DT will be equal to 3 by 2 multiplied by again 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 4 mole L minus 1 S minus 1. Our next problem is very simple. Write the differential rate equations of the following reactions and also considering each of them as an elementary reactions, write the order and molecularity of them. The first reaction is 2A plus B giving you products. 2A plus B giving you products. So, how to write the differential rate equation of this one will be uh, minus 1 by 2 B of A by DT is equal to minus d of b by b. Now, what will be the rate of the reaction? Rate of the reaction can be also given as k rate constant multiplied by a to the power of 2 and b to the power of 1. Here you have to uh, rewind is 2 and 1 are partial orders of reaction. 
and so that order of this reaction will be 2 plus 1 which will be equal to 3. So order is 3 and as you know the molecularity of an elementary reaction will be the same. So molecularity also is equal to 3. Now let us see the next reaction. Next reaction is somewhat complex reaction is A plus 2B plus 2C. A plus 2B plus 2C giving protein. And writing the differential form, this will be minus d by dt of a will be equal to minus 1 by 2 d, d by dt, which will be equal to minus 1 by 2 d of c by dt. And here rate can be given as rate constant multiplied by concentration of A, concentration of B to the power of 2, and concentration of C to the power of 2. And here we can see order will be 1, 2, and 2. Order will be 5. And since it is an elementary reaction, molecularity also will be equal to. Let us move on to the problem 4. A reaction has the stoichiometry 2y plus 2b giving you y plus 2z and some results of the rate of consumption of A are given below. So this is a kinetic experiment in which you have changed the amount of A and changed the amount of B and you are measuring the rate of the reaction. Three experiments are done by changing the concentration of A and also concentration of B. And our question is, you have to deduce the rate, uh, deduce the alpha and beta, which are the partial orders of the reaction. You, hence, you have to determine the overall order of the reaction, which is the M. And also, you have to uh, find Ka, the rate constant with respect to A, Kb, and uh, the last one is uh, Ky, Kz, and also the overall rate constant K. So this is the, our uh, question. This is a very uh, nice problem actually. So let us uh, see how to solve. Now, actually these three can be given as uh, simple equations. Like here, the first one is A. Amount of A is 1.4 into 10 to the power of minus 2. B is 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 2. As we know, rate of the reaction can be given as rate is equal to K into concentration of A. In this case, it is concentration of A into concentration of B to the power of alpha to the power of beta. And that rate is given here. 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So let us see how to uh, simplify it. So this first one is 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 3. And of course, you have to take care of the Unit it is mole dm minus 3 and second in. Now we can treat this table itself as uh, equations. This will be our first equation, this will be our second equation, and this will be our third equation. And if it is so, let us go for some simple calculations like equation 3 divided by 2. I am going to do some calculations here. Equation 3 divided by equation 2 in analogous with this rate equation will be equal to K into concentration of A is now equation in equation 3 concentration is 2.8 so it you can give 2.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 exponent is alpha multiplied by concentration of B it is 4.6 10 to the power of minus 2 exponent beta it is equal to 5.92 into 10 to the power of minus 6 of course regarding the uh, units we will take care of later this is equation 3 and you have to divide it by equation 2 so this is k and equation 2 is 2.8 
it is almost the same 2.8 in difference to the power of minus 2 to the power of alpha. Here it is 4.6 in root. There is one small mistake, it is 10 to the power of uh, minus 1 here. 4.6 in root 10 to the power of minus 2. Exponent is beta, it is equal to 5.92 in root 10 to the power of minus 2. Now, in this, upon simplification, you can see it will come to 10 to the power of alpha will be equal to, it will be 100. That means this will be cancelling and here there will, it will be only 10 will be remaining. It is 10 to the power of minus 1 and it is 10 to the power of minus 2. That is alpha is equal to 2. So you have determined the partial order with respect to A which is equal to 2. Now we have to calculate the partial order with respect to B. For that you have to plug in this alpha equal to 2 into any of this equation. For that what we are going to do is another simplification is equation 3 divided by equation 1 which will be equal to k into multiplied by 2.8 into 10 to the power of minus 1 to the power of alpha 4.6 into 10 to the power of minus 2 to the power of beta which will be equal to 5.92 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by equation 1 which is again k into 1.4 into 10 to the power of minus 2 alpha and 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 2 beta uh, will be equal to 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 2. So now upon simplification here you can uh, do some simplifications like this and write one more uh, equation which is equal to k into 2 into 1.4 into 10 to the power of minus 1 to the power of alpha here it will be again 2 into 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 2 to the power of beta is equal to 5.92 into 10 to the power of minus 6 or divided by k 1.4 into 10 to the power of minus 1 into 10 to the power of minus 1 to the power of alpha and other one is 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 2 to the power of beta this sorry it can be given as equal to it is divided by 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 1. Upon proper sim simplification you will get uh, finally as finally as 2 to the power of 2 sorry 2 to the power of beta will be equal to uh, 8 by 4 which is equal to 2 that is beta is equal to 1. So finally we are getting overall order of reaction this limit of space here sorry overall order of reaction will be equal to alpha plus beta alpha is 2 and beta we have given what as 1 so this will be equal to 1 2 plus 1 will be equal to 3 this will be the overall order of reaction. Now we have determined the um, partial orders. So alpha was equal to um, 2, beta was equal to 1 and overall order of the reaction is 3. Now we have to determine Ka, Kb, Ky, Kz and also the overall order, 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 order constant K. Let us see how to do it. For to determine Ka, can give Ka is equal to rate of the reaction divided by concentration of A, concentration of B, here concentration of A to the power of alpha, B to the power of beta. So you can plug in to any of this plate, you need to say Ka is equal to 
if you are taking the first equation, this will be equal to 7.4 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by concentration of A is 1.4 into 10 to the power of minus 2 to the power of alpha is 2 and again 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 2 beta is 1. Upon simplification you will get a value approximately it will be 1.641 into 10 to the power of minus 2. And as we know the reaction stoichiometry is uh, like this 2a plus 2b giving you y plus 2 is it. And you know the equations or the stoichiometries of a, b and z are the same. If it is so you can write as ka is equal to will be equal to kb will be equal to k this will be 1.641 with 10 to the power of minus 2. Of course, for y, it is only half the amount of a, b, or z. So that means k, uh, y will be equal to 1.641 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 2. Now let us see what will be the unit of this uh, particular wave constant. You know, this is n is equal to 3 that means the overall order is a 3 so what will be uh, that one if you uh, again you can go with the rate itself uh, which will be rate of the reaction or k will be equal to rate the rate of the reaction is mole dm minus 3 yes inverse divided by this will be mole minus 3 for the concentration and this will be to the power of 3 and finally you will be having an uh, unit as unit for this particular one will be mole to the power of minus 2 dm to the power of 6 yes inverse so you can plug in here which is this one mole to the power of minus 2 dm to the power of minus 6 and s to the power of 5. 